What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some breaking news. And the Miami Open is losing players left, right, and center. The men's side of the tour is just all pulling out of the Miami Open. The women's side still have the big guns, but the men's side are missing some key names. Let's go to the withdrawals. Starting on the women's side, there's only eight players to this point that have pulled out. Hercog has pulled out. Shea, Mukova, Strikova, Teague, Van Udvank's pulled out. Vekic is still recovering from knee surgery. And Yastremska is still on a provisional suspension. Going over to the men's side now, we have so many names pulling out of this one. We have Krajanovic, Karino Busta, Chorich, Quavos, Fakina, Edmund, Gasquet's pulled out, Mute, Pella, Simon, Songa, Monfils, Vavrinka, Kyrgios, and then the biggest names of all, we've got Federer's pulled out, Nadal's pulled out, Team's pulled out, and overnight Djokovic has also pulled out of the Miami Open. So not too many big names on the women's side, but for the men's side, the biggest names of all, the big three, they are not playing a Masters 1000 event for the first time since 2000 2004 at the Paris Masters and back then Federer was number one in the world Djokovic was 242 and Nadal was number 48 so those players were not the big three that we know today so the first time in nearly 17 years the big three aren't playing a Masters 1000 event so who's gonna win the event let me know down below we have Medvedev he's looking for his fourth Masters 1000 title Sidzi Pass he's looking for his first Masters 1000 title he has the ATP finals he doesn't have a Masters 1000 Zverev also looking for his fourth and Rublev He's looking for his biggest title of his career. He's a master of so the Miami Open. It's lost the big three for the men, but we've still got some great players for the men and the women still to go.